And we're back here, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see the uh, some of the great hospitality there in front of you down at the uh, marquees here at the uh, Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup for 2014. As some of the uh, guests here get some lunch as they settle down for a great afternoon of polo. And uh, the two teams here in front of you, the United States and New Zealand, in a torrid battle. It's a uh, an amazing game of polo here. We've got a three goal to two ball game and it's in favour of New Zealand. In the third and final chucker here, we've got six minutes to decide who will get the points here today in this preliminary game. This is zone two and you've got the top seed, New Zealand, uh, up against the third seed, the USA. So you wouldn't think so by watching this game that this, the seedings were so far apart because uh, the USA are giving New Zealand a run for their money. So I think the experience of uh, Escapite and uh, Tommy Biddle in the middle is making a great, uh, making a great game of it. Uh, we've got our the higher rated player for uh, uh, the New Zealand team is Sam Hopkinson, the captain. He's a six goaler. They've only got the one six goal of the New Zealand team, but they've got two five goalers in Tom Hunt and Kit Brooks, who are doing a great job up the front. So uh, the, the damage at the moment, though, is being done. The New Zealand player that's standing out at the moment is Tom Hunt. He's doing a a, a fantastic job there in the middle at number two. He's uh, got his hands full marking Escapite, but uh, he's doing doing New Zealand proud at the moment. So, uh, but the USA definitely not out of it. Umpire Nico Scordicini will throw the ball in, saying, "Give me some space here. I want a clear tunnel to throw this ball through." And the ball has been thrown in now. And who's out there first? It's Dell Walton for the United States. But back there is Kit Brooks, who backs it and it's gone out over the board. So. Into that crowd goes the ball. Lucky it's a little bit softer than the standard polo ball. But the ball's been thrown in again now. Who's going to come up with it? New Zealand now backs it again down the boards. Looking for his number two, Tom Hunt again, the man of the moment in this game. But he's been ridden out of it by Walton, the number one for the USA now backs it. Who's back first? Sam Hopkinson goes for the back shot. Appeals for the foul hook. And he got it. So, umpires there saying that he was hooked by the USA player as he went up for the backswing, and that's why the whistle has gone. You, when you're going for a back shot like that, you can only hook the mallet on its way down. You can't hook the mallet as the player winds up for his shot. And you'll just have to see his look here in the in the in the replay. He goes up, and as he went up, Tommy Biddle put his stick out there and hooked the New Zealand mallet, the New Zealand player's mallet. And it's then a foul to New Zealand in favour of New Zealand. So it'll be Hopkinson now opening the shoulders, hitting it down to Tom Hunt, who gets hard ridden there by Escapite, who then claims the line, gets through there. Escapite now is going to have a big back shot. New Zealand get the great bounce. Kid Brooks, but he can't find where the ball is. It's underneath his pony now. Big neck shot required by Tom Hunt, who gets hooked out of it by Tommy Biddle Jr. Now the ball stays in play. Will New Zealand come up with another goal here? Clearing shot there by Biddle, who hits it out towards the boards. And who's there? Escapite gets a very good bounce off the boards now will he follow he can't make the most of it now big ride off required here by Tom Hunt who does so Tommy Biddle Jr. for the United States didn't see where the ball went now Brooks and Escapite in a hustle Escapite nearly out the front door but it's Biddle and Hunt in the corner now oh it's nearly going to be an own goal but it wasn't oh so close so close so Del Walton was trying to clear that, got a very, very bad bounce, and it then uh, came off the uh, leg of his pony. And, and you'll see the slow-mo here. So hit there by Tom Hunt, tried, got past Biddle of the United States. He went across, but there as uh, Escapite went to hit that through the goal, it came off the leg of his pony went out over the back line. So because it was... Uh, Forced out. The umpires are saying as he went and did that, he did foul, actually foul the uh, New Zealand player. So New Zealand will get another a shot at goal here in front of the in front of the commentary team. Tom Hunt will for New Zealand. The number two uh, will.
No, and, uh, he's got to try and get past Tommy Biddle, who's there in the goal mouth. Going to try and block. He's going to play goalkeeper. He hits it cleanly, but it's gone wide. So unlucky there for New Zealand, but the United States now very happy with the result. They're going to have a tap in from the back line, and it's going to be Biddle now bringing the ball out here. He's just checking, looking for runners, and oh, great big shot there by Biddle as he hits it out to the right, looking for Del Walton, the number one. He's the attacking player here for the United States, Del Walton. Just waiting for the bounce. He's supported well by the number two, Escapite, for the United States. But it's still Walton all the way. But he's been ridden out of it by Hunt. Hunt can't quite get the hit on it. Now Walton weaves his way through the pony's legs. Now it's Walton who's got, he's surrounded by Kiwis, which means the ball's been left there for Biddle now, who's appealing for the line. Will he just try and walk this one through? And the whistle has gone. Oh, they did all the work, the United States. But it, it's not to be. I think Biddle was ridden out of it by Tom Hunt. Let's see if we can get, we might get a replay here, but I think Tom Hunt rode Biddle off the line of ball and he led across the front of uh, Tom Hunt's pony. And as a result, uh, the penalty went to New Zealand. So New Zealand now still in their half and uh, they're just inside halfway, uh, but they were in the attack. Now it's going to be United States in attack. Hopkinson on Escapite, the two six goalers. Now Escapite trying a back shot, now leaves it for Biddle, who comes around behind him now. He has got doesn't have a man on him, but he can't convert with that shot. Now clearing back shot there by Sam Hopkinson now. Hopkinson back. But Escapite for the United States is back there. He's looking over his shoulder, seeing who's there to hit it to. He just decides to go for the deflection off the boards. Biddle comes down the line, cuts it across to the middle of the field. Now it's going to be Escapite. Can't quite convert. The ball's popped up. It's come off the leg of a pony now. Who's back there? It's New Zealand all over it at the moment. And now it's going to be Hopkinson clearing it towards the boards. Does so. Gets it out of the goal mouth. Now who's back there? Tom Hunt for New Zealand. New Zealand, big neck shot down the boards. Does, doesn't quite get the shot he wants. So Escapite will just dribble it around Biddle comes through Biddle now for the United States takes it forward towards the goal but it's gone out over the back line good passage of play a great polo there by both teams great defense and attack and it just goes to show you how quickly this game can turn around but it's New Zealand one goal in front three goals to two with two minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock and Escapite getting out of the way so that Sam Hopkinson can hit this ball up the field. Kid Brooks coming around in support, but he's still got to try and keep Tommy Biddle out of the play here. Who's there? Escapite now. As Kid Brooks leaves his man to go and try and get the hook on Escapite. Escapite now keeps the ball, leaves it for Biddle who necks it through. Now Escapite claims the line early. Hunt tries to lean out for the ball. Kid Brooks going for a near side back shot towards the boards and gets a clean shot. Very well played by Brooks. Now Sam Hopkinson goes for the deflection off the boards. He tactically he was trying to get that deflection off the boards, but he's chipped it into the grandstand. Well, I've got to take a breath. A minute 40 left on the clock. They say the best form of defence is attack, and it's New Zealand now on the attack now, and the whistle has gone. Sam Hopkinson thought he was in the clear and going for goal, and wasn't to be. You'll see the ball come flying out of the line out here. Hopkinson has a swing, and then Biddle appeals for the penalty. And the umpire's now in discussion. I didn't see a lot wrong with it, but the umpires did. Maybe it was gear they, they thought was wrong. Some broken gear or something that they thought. We'll have a quick look here. And yeah, the umpires will not award a penalty here because they couldn't agree. They're going to have a throw in towards the boards here. So, a nail biter here for the first game, ladies and gentlemen. The umpire is just going to pick up another ball that's out on the field. But it's New Zealand, the top seeds in this zone, in front by a nose, in front by one goal. And we saw yesterday how quickly these last minute and 30 seconds can go. 
and how many goals can actually be scored in a minute and 30. So it's not over yet for the United States. So the ball gets thrown in. Umpire Chris Bethel throws the ball in now. Back shot there by Walton. Heading and looking straight towards it. And he gets it. And that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. That's the goal that they need of the United States. And that's the equaliser. So here we go. Hitting off the back line. Now New Zealand need to score next if they want to try and win this game. They've got a minute and 17 left. And it will be Sam Hopkinson for New Zealand. The captain bringing it in. Will he go for the big clearing shot? Does. Gets it through the legs of the pony of Escapite. Now it goes forward. Biddle's lost side of the ball. Who's got it? It's Walton. Del Walton gets the bounce. Lucky bounce off the boards. Now Walton's going to have to go back in defence. Leaves the ball behind the ball. Lucky bounce for New Zealand. Tom Hunt keeps the ball. Keeps the dream alive. Keeps the line. He thought Escapite might have come. Will New Zealand put it through here? Sam Hopkinson now. Lovely little shot, but it was hit out of the air by the American team. Now off the top of the bounce, it's Tommy Biddle swinging stick side, near side now. Who's going to be back there? Kid Brooks. Lovely shot. Sam Hopkinson. There's only daylight between him and the goalpost. Will Escapite get there quickly enough? He's put a little bit too much on it. It's, and I think the American are going to watch this one go over the sideline. We've got 30 seconds to see if we go into a penalty shootout. We don't play a draw in this tournament, ladies and gentlemen. We will be going to a penalty shootout, and it's going to be America, the United States of America, bringing it in off the back line. The New Zealanders scrambling in defence now. The two heavier players for the for the New Zealand team going back in defence, and it's gone out over the boards with seven seconds left on the clock. And I think that means we'll be going to a shootout. Sudden death. Penalty shootout to decide who will win this first game. We're going to a penalty shootout, ladies and gentlemen, to decide the winner of this first game. So that's an indication of how great this game has been up till now. Nothing in it between these two teams. The United States have really brought their A grade game here today. And uh, the two six goalers for the US have shown the way. And the umpire's now just quickly going through the rules with the players as to how this is going to work. So, the crowd on the edge of their seats. They've come down here to see some polo and they're getting a plenty of value for their money here today. So two more games to go after this. And at the end of the third chucker here, we're tied up at three all and we're going to a penalty shootout. So we will see what happens from here. But uh, the next game coming up, that's going to be a cracker as well, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Canada versus France. So they're both second seeded teams. They're seeded second in their uh, groups. And uh, so, you know, it's going to be a, a very horrid battle there when they're so evenly uh, handicapped. And um, the combinations there, the Canadians and the, and the French uh, will be going at it straight after this game. But later on this afternoon after that one, we'll have Brazil versus South Africa. And uh, then that will wrap up today's play. But at the moment now, it's where I'm just interested to see whether these players will actually change ponies for the penalty shootout. Some will, some won't. Uh, some people say, oh, that one's easier to hit penalties off than this one. I'll just go and uh, have a quick drink and stay on that pony. But uh, the coaches might come out and uh, they might say, oh, they get to choose which balls they use for their penalty shootouts. And uh, nail-biting stuff. If you don't have your gloves on, that is. So umpires Bethel and uh, Nico Scottaccini uh, overseeing the uh, preparations for this penalty shootout here. And because of the point system for this tournament and the two different zones, we can't actually have a, a draw at the end of the, uh, the end of the three chuckers. We have to go to a penalty shootout to get a result. On your screen is uh, Kit Brooks. So we're going now to see some of these highlights of this, the game that was just on. It's still in motion now, really. The on-field, super slow-mo. Great opportunity for our cameramen to show off their skills and show off the quality of the, uh, the footage that these guys can, can create these days. It's just amazing. You see every grimace, every 
smile, every chomp of the bit. You can see the raw height nose bands there on these bridles. And uh, you see the players there with their big knee guards, and that's why when you have big hits like that, that's why you need those knee guards, because if you get a big ride off like that without the knee guards on, you can do some serious damage to the cartilage in, those, in your knees. You can see some kids playing down the far end of the field. Snow fights. Yet to really snow here in Tianjin. They're down in the uh, Wonderland with all the different symbols you can see from the different participating countries. So there's a, uh, you can see Mexican cactuses from the Mexican teams. You can see uh, the Statue of Liberty down there. But the players now coming up to uh, start their penalty shootout now. And it'll be the United States going first. Tommy Biddle Jr., the captain, number three for the United States to be the first one. So he'll be uh, trying to just calm the adrenaline down from the from the game that he's been participating in and just try to keep his head clear. Obviously, the, it's not like soccer where they can defend this one, but it's just a shot at goal. Each player gets a shot at goal. And he's shanked that out to the right, and he's not happy. You can see the after swing there. He's the captain, not happy at all. So it'll go now to the New Zealand. Next will be a New Zealand player. And it will be Thomas Hunt. We'll, uh, you can see the replay here. He's just hit that with the butt of the mallet. And look at that. He's angry. The United States, not happy at all with that. He's done it a thousand times before. But here we go, Thomas Hunt for New Zealand. And he's wide, umpire's pointed wide. So we've had two misses from the, and that shows you how hard it is to hit this ball when we've got professional polo players from all around the world having a shot. And you'll see here, it's gone and shanked out. Umpire Bethel, very quick to point that one out wide to the right. So, nerves building now as we see. Del Walton, the number one for the United States, and it's goal time. The USA put the first points on the board of the penalty shootout with Del Walton, the three goaler from America, putting the ball straight through. And you'll see here, same approach as the other two, just leans back, but he just calculated for the curve there. You can see the ball curving. It doesn't travel very straight once it's up in the air. And now it'll be Sam Hopkinson for the, United, for the New Zealand team taking his shot. And it's gone wide. So we may get another replay here, but Sam Hopkinson took his shot. And it's now, after two shots each, the United States one up. So an opportunity here for the United States, the underdogs, the third seeded team, to win this game. If he can put this through, if our number two, Pelon Escapite, the sixth goaler from the United States, if he can put this one through the goals, it will be victory to the United States. Only not settled. He hits it, looks wide. Oh, the pressure's on. So, we're all tied up with... He's missed it. So, Kit Brooks needs to get this one through to at least get them another penalty shootout. Mr. Capite shaking his head. Kit Brooks, the lowest handicap player on the ground. Hits it, and it goes through, and he's equalised. So it's one apiece now after each team has had their... And he is happy. He knows how important that goal is. So the umpires now will call them through again. You can see Kit Brooks. 
youngest player here on this field, on the, on, on the, in this game. And uh, I'll go to another penalty shootout now, as far as I'm aware. Because both countries have put one in and missed two. So we will go again. But now it's sudden death. So first team to miss now. I think you'll find. Sorry. So now you'll see there's a the, there's a New Zealand player can defend this now. But it's sudden death. Here we go. Tommy Biddle Jr. for the United States. Hits it and it's over. So Tom Hunt could have blocked it, but it was a nice high shot. Tommy Biddle making sure he got that one right. So that now, if the New Zealand team missed this one, look at this shot here. So Tom Hunt ready to block it, curves it the right way, flag is up, and the United States now. A little bit of with a little bit of wind in their sails. They're just hoping now. We'll see Tom Hunt for New Zealand come in to try and hit this one, and he gets it, but it goes through. So the sudden death, and both countries now have one apiece. Even though Tommy Biddle could have blocked that one, and we got the mallet onto it, it still went through. Umpire Bethel hand went up very quickly, and. So you'll see here clearly now, Tom Hunt hits it, comes off the mallet, but it still goes through that goal post. And it's now very interesting. So it'll be, I think it might be Walton taking this one. Del Walton for the United States rides in. Oh, and it goes through. Tom Hunt overrode it a little bit, ran it along the ground. And it's now the United States 2 with the New Zealand team still to have their shot. So Tom Hunt didn't quite read that one, had to get back to it, didn't get back in time, put out the stick, but he couldn't get there. Oh, it's exciting. The very first opening game here today, and we're into a lovely shot there by Sam Hopkinson, and the flag's gone up. So, New Zealand with three goals and all the pressure now on Escapite. So, the last, last shot of this round, all the pressure of the United States is on, on the head of Escapite as he walks in to take this shot. That's Tommy Biddle on your screen now. He's already had his shot and this is the last player to go. Escapite looks wide. It looks wide. Umpires have pointed wide. So here we go. And he, yep. Umpire Bethel in the right spot. So sudden death, here we go. Kit Brooks. If he can put this through. Hits it, and it's through. It looks like New Zealand have won it. And a penalty shootout that's gone through two rounds of penalty shootout. And the United States, what a way to lose a game. Both teams very deserved victors, but it was the luck of the ball. And it was, in the end, New Zealand coming out winners here, the top seed for the teams in this group, uh, beating the United States in a very tight game, even down to the penalty shootout going into two rounds, which is almost unheard of. And we have the winners of our first game here today, New Zealand by penalty shootout. And the players will now leave the field.
and the, we will start to get ready at full time. It was seven goals to six in favour of New Zealand after a very torrid penalty shootout. As I said, a nail biter showing you how close the polo is here at this World Cup, the uh, Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup 2014. It's what an amazing game of polo we've just seen in front of us. And you can see the winning goal coming from Kit Brooks here. Hits it cleanly, gets the shoulder of Tommy Biddle and still goes through. Can you believe that? And uh, here he goes. Watch this. Watch the slow, super slow-mo. Goes and hits the, oh, hits his hand, tries to block it. But unfortunately for the United States, it wasn't to be today. So it will be New Zealand going through with, to get the two points as we uh, get ready to for our next game this coming straight up will be between Canada and France and, and uh, but today the first game the winners New Zealand seven goals to six after an amazing penalty shootout